game when he broke his hand last season, and he continued to play in that game. He kept looking at his hand, but he continued to play at a high level. Just so much toughness to figure out. Baldwin, one of ten from the floor, gets it in the lane and draws the big. He's going for the two-for-one opportunity. That's a call that the coach has to make. Seven seconds difference between game clock and shot clock. They will get another possession if they can secure the rebound. Tucker rattles it in. For Bryce Inzi, isn't it? Having to check Zagorowski on the switch. Zagorowski can score at all three levels. You already saw the floater, but that shot right there, the skill to be able to use both hands in the paint. Nice left hand finish. Great back cut and the assist. Jalen Brunson played. He lived He lived in the post, kicking the ball out to the three-point line. That time, Colin Gillespie to Justin Moore. And it's a 7-0 run for Villanova. Here's Baldwin from the free-throw line. And Butler, after cutting it to four. Two coaches carrying their teams to the top of the big league. Butler's only loss. At Baylor, which is currently ranked sixth in the country. Early minutes here in the second half as Kamar Baldwin finally gets this. Really the emergence of a lot of the role players, but Quincy McKnight's ability to shoot and score the ball takes a lot of pressure off of Miles Powell. It's always nice when you get your counterpart a shot early on the road. NZ backing in, they give it up. On the wing, that's the spot. Mark it down every time. Up high, you can't teach length and athleticism. Unfortunately, an empty possession. Agenda 6-11, they want him to put on some weight. He's already put on a little bit since the beginning of the year. If you see that length, the wiry players, that's why they come up with so many steals. Agenda fouls. I mean, he was first team Ohio Valley Conference at Southeast Missouri State. I mean, a terrific player. He has been a real lift to this Creighton club. Yeah, he gives the Blue Jays that undersized power forward slash center scoring in the paint ability. Shot clock at five as Baldwin lets a long range three fly and Zagorowski clears. Ratcheted up the pressure with Thompson not on the floor. Baldwin's really the only legitimate ball handler on the floor for Butler. Battle will be called upon now for a lot of minutes. The freshman from Edison, New Jersey. Baldwin saved him there. Shot clock down to four. He's going to have to take it. Oh, and it's just off the front iron. Dude, that's the ball pressure. Got Barton Luther King Drive here in Chicago. How fitting for everything to tie in right here. Such an impactful person Dr. Martin Luther King is and was to this nation and how the words translate to the sport of basketball. We cannot walk alone in society. And we can't do it in sports. It's a team effort. Bryce Golden for three to begin the second half. That's Charlie. One of the things you need to make sure when you're playing the Blue Jays it's getting back in offensive transition. The Blue Jays can get out in a hurry and score. Easy answer. Because you're going to leave a three-point shooter alone, but, you know, a guy like Samuels make you pay just going one-on-one -on -one with his strength in the post. A dozen for Jermaine Samuels. And now McDermott comes off the bench, set to check in next whistle. Golden off glass, and the foul for Bryce Golden. Major blow that Butler has given them, and they've done it by really playing outstanding team basketball in the half court set. Especially with Gill. Gill has really loomed large offensively. They're pick and pop to Enzi over Gill. He's rejected. Outstanding defensive work by the big fella. They tried to be able to come up, pin down screens, get your feet set. Kind of a lost art. In basketball, the ability to come off screens and catch and shoot. He has 10 of Seton Hall's 20. Tucker 
He can run the curl as well as any. Demons are going to win this game. They'll need a lot more from that. Very good execution coming out of the timeout. ATO. Very good pass by Butts. And getting Charlie Moore going. Tucker hit a three just before the timeout. And he had against Prairie View. It has gone all the way through the month of January to this point. He's one of the reasons Seton Hall is so good for the long haul. And it's six foot ten, can shoot it, shooting 40% from three. Really good looking young player. Look at that defense inside. Missed there by Pitkins. Back post Thompson. And just forcing them to not be in flow, not be in rhythm. Offensively, the Flyers. Under, under duress, it seems like. Thompson at the point. Baldwin on the bench right now. Christian David, pretty good shooter. Battle. Turned away. David. Shot clock at four. Tucker realizes fires in hit. Wow. Woo. Boy, that's... Reed back in for the Blue Demons. A great start for DePaul, but... They're going to still have to grind this one out the rest of the way. Butler's not going anywhere. Absolutely, Wayne, and that'll be a test of the Blue Demons throughout this game. Can they sustain the same energy and same effort offensively and defensively? Smith turns it over. So. Averaging 13 points, 8 rebounds per ball game, and now they're ready to rock for real. It's 9-5 ball game. Smith sets a pick, nothing there for Thompson. On the curl, Tucker had a good game at St. John's. Fade away, no. Rebound goes to the alley. Has been a key X factor for the success of this Butler team. Baldwin trying to lose Ballack, but a good job defensively by Ballack. Hey, Kamar Baldwin is over. He's eight for eight from the field. Paul Reed, don't do him like that, Paul Reed. You're knocking down threes. You're giving him the mid-range. You're dunking on guys. Don't do him like that with the off-the-bounce Euro step. Time, Biggie's freshman of the week. In a bit of a slump over the last four games. He has played well tonight. And since Butler cut the deficit down to four, Villanova is on an 11-2 run. Well, you take a look from the field. Three for three at the free throw line. What a day it's been for one of the best big men, if not the best big man in the Big East. I am so impressed with Paul Reed's maturity, emotional maturity, since he was a freshman. Just impressed in the development and growth of his game. Smith's trying to get around Butts with the left hand. He's fouled. Here, Butler just needs to continue to be poison patient, set the pace, and be efficient. Finding good looks like that right there. <laughs> if Creighton is going to come back and win this game, they're going to need a little more Marcus Zagorowski offensively. Absolutely. Aaron Thompson in the game for Butler. Remember, he's got four fouls. Tucker for three off the iron, and here comes Ballack. Devon helped the Bulldogs to the NCAA three times as a player. One of the few coaches in college basketball having an opportunity to coach their alma mater, and he's doing an excellent job with Butler basketball. What a tough defensive assignment. And you know what? He's still challenged and contested. 14 for Diallo. They need to string some buckets together. They've not had a a good stretch. And a lot of that because of the outstanding defense of the Butler Bulldogs. And look, even token pressure sometimes forces teams to play fast. Baldwin slows it down, methodical, and patient offensively. Look at this team. Oh, my. And turned away. Some free throws. Three of them. 15 points on the day. Averages 18, the team's leading scorer. Greg McDermott told me today to see this game in the 70s, it would be a benefit to them. And I think we're going to get there at this point unless something drastic happens here. In, the in this contest defensively, and they're running their stuff really well, too, offensively. Well, they will execute, and they'll make you work. 
And Paul joining one of those great stuff. Look, here's a little old school Butler action. Brad Stevens, a little dribble baseline and the batter away. Defensive efficiency, according to Kemba, I'm expected a grinder. Both these teams are going at it offensively. Derek Smiths has checked into the game. Set that pick for Tucker. And he nailed another one. He has three. Averaging double figures, 18 points a game. He has the ability to get a triple-double in a game at any point of this season. And his offensive game is impressive. Thompson guarded by Zegarowski, and now Balak looks at Baldwin. Shot clock at five. Baldwin short again. And that's a tough one. Here come the players again. 36 29. Full house here at the dunk. And here's your Lucas. Big East basketball on a Friday evening here in New England. Golden. Can't get it. Enzi battling with Hope. And that's what you need to do. Try to beat them middle. Dribble penetration and not get forced into a contested jump shot. Greg Gant ready to come in to the game for Providence. Thompson at the point. Dunk by Enzi on the way back. 58-57 the lead. 12 minutes gone by in the second. Their first lead since it was 24-23 in the opening half. Anybody that thought Seton Hall was just going to throw in the towel. They don't know what these pirates are all about. And you can see our defensive-minded Reynolds is. There's a scoop to the hoop. And the foul, the end result. As Khalif battled both capable, particularly from downtown. Absolutely. Especially with Powell. If you're guarding Powell, you got to be ready for everything. Staggers, pin downs, transition, ball screens, drives. You got to be ready to defend it all with number 13 miles power. So far, three possessions, three trades. Aaron Thompson with a little teardrop. And you see, Golden. So, I, mean, I mean, I saw the little push. I mean, I get that. I get that. Okay, I'm sorry. That was my old school lens again. Yeah, yeah, my yeah. fault. All right, uh, my fault. I forgot. I this was new school basketball. Unless right. McDermott does three somersaults after the push, you don't want that foul. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Ten with the ball under nine minutes to go here in the second half. Dave Sims, Ben Parisi, glad you joined us here. In Providence, a full house on a Friday night. Duncan Donuts in his ball and shake it free and let me go and left and he scores. Ed Cooley is agonizing on the sidelines. That's about a handful of open perimeter shots that Reeves usually knocks down. Nice underneath. Tucker converts that first. Nick Dermott with the rebound. Aaron Thompson at the point. Derek Smith. Baldwin. Baldwin when he got double dribble. Yep. One dominant team. All right now, this is all about Butler. 52-39. This is a team take eighth in the Big East Conference. They're number six in the country. And here on the road, have led all the way. Here's Baldwin. Way out. Sonny Harris. 